I'm gonna demonstrate uh, this uh, ET Smart EEPROM programmer. Um, this is what it looks like. These are your connections right here. Um, it's marked 1458, 1234567, like a horseshoe. Um, basically, you're gonna take your uh, wires and the clips. Um, connect on this side and then this will go to the EEPROM so pin 1 will go to pin 1 here and you just do the same times um, so that's one way of doing it um, if you have like a pogo clip adapter something like this um, and then this will go here These are spring-loaded. This will go over the EEPROM. Just apply pressure to read it. Um, do it this way, or what I have here is a this is a broken a sweep clip. So I just have them all four connected. Um, basically, you just four will go on this side, and then. One like it will go here, and then you just take your rock clips and connect to the individual pin on the EEPROM. That's uh, pretty much how this uh, EEPROM programmer works. Um, they do have different colors, but you can't pick the color. So like black, or blue or purple, it's just whatever we decide to assemble. Um, price drop to $200. This is an in-circuit EEPROM programmer. You don't need to remove the EEPROM from the board. Just use your clips or whatever. Make the connection directly and then we'll read. I forgot to add, um, if for some reason you do want to remove the EEPROM from the board, you could uh, get one of these adapters. Um, it only costs like two dollars or something. It's called the uh, SOP8 socket. So the EEPROM will drop in there, and uh, this will just go on top here. Um, so you can do it that way if you need to. Um, or you can just remove the EEPROM and connect it, you know, via your uh, clips on a table. But that's, you know, a rare occasion if you need to remove 